Welcome back, kings, kings and queens. queens. Si Jesus ang ato ang King of Kings, so kita ang gagmay ng Kings and Queens. We are again here sa ato ang Daily Love Language Devotionals. And if you are new here and you'd like to learn more about your relationship with your spouse, then click subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today is June 13, atong pagkasigutan, Loving Through Hurt. hurt. In Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 45 it says You have heard the law that says love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I say love your enemies pray for those who persecute you in the way you will be acting as the true children of your father in heaven Yes so um right loving through hurt Mm-hmm. So, ang, ang verse is kanang loving your neighbor and hating your enemy. Pero, Jesus said, you have to love still your enemy. Mm-hmm. So, sometimes ang atong spouse becomes our enemy. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> Labi na kung wala ta na kasi nabot. Um, there are times nga kanang dili na tong usab ta ng usab But, we really have to love. We have to choose to love since love is not a decision uh, is a decision of will love is a decision of will not a pack of emotions mm-hmm. now so ingon ang author diri how can we express love to our spouse when we are full of hurt anger and resentment over past failures so lisod no mm mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. 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 Oh. yes yes yeah. so we are creatures of choice. Mm-hmm. Again, of creatures of choice ta kanang uh, I've learned when when I was grow- growing up in church sa so una, I remember ang amo ang kanang youth pastor or amo ang kanang uh naghandol namo sa mga youth. Mingon gyud siya nga life is a matter of choice. Yeah. So, gikan pa sa pag mata ni mo sa buntag, choice gina ni mo kung mo bakod baka or dili. Choice po dali mo kung sa imo kanon, choice ni mo kung maligo baka dili. As in, choices gid siya tanan. It's kanang wala siya na himong, whether we like it or not, daghan mong gumaingon nga, it's because of the situation that I am in, it's because of the family that I'm in or kanang murag mogi akong kapalaran no it's actually not no tanan gyud nga mahitabo sa imong kinabo it's actually a matter of choice small choices the whole day nga imong gibuhat that's your choice no so same thing po sa ato ang relationship with our spouse so if kita di ta mo undang or kanang pasagdaan nato nga kanang magpadala rata sa emotions choice man na nato kung magpadala ta sa emotions mm-hmm. so it's very important nga in sa gingon pa sa verse love your enemies and bless those who curse you okay so kana i love nato atong spouse even though when we are hurting no so even when it hurts. <laughs> okay. So why would Jesus say this? Because love is the most powerful weapon to choose uh, to, to change, change the heart of a, another person. So it's the same thing as what Jesus did for us. Mm. Nga kanang we are sinners and we are the most unfaithful creatures nga kanang gihimo ni Lord we have our own human desires pero God chose to love us mm. so when he chose to love us he knew that we are still going to kanang be unfaithful to him but he still chose to love us no so and because of what Jesus did because of God's love mm. ma change ta no, so it's Amen. very evident labina labina nato nga nakaila ni Lord. No, so we love each other because he loves us first. 
And then, someone must choose to love in spite of past failures. No? So, ikaw nga na may now ka ron, um, gitawag ka, ikaw man gyo nakadungog. <laughs> ikaw man gyo nakadungog ani nga devotional. So, you have to um, choose to love in spite sa mga hurts nga yung na na sinapi. No? So, uh, when we do that, we're acting the way God acts. Or, as Jesus says, acting as true children of our Father in Heaven. So, that's a very, very wonderful thought. No nga, anak de gita sa ginawa. So, when we express love using someone's primary language, Gimension na nato before kung unsa ang primary language sa imuhang bana or imong asawa. There are five kinds of love languages. Number one is quality time. Number two is words of affirmation. Number three is gifts. Number four is acts of service. And number five is physical touch. Yes. Yeah. So kana siya lima, you have to know kung unsa ang primary Mm-hmm. Okay, primary nga love language sa imuhang spouse. And then, muna ka po na yung buhaton sa iya. So that, your spouse will be emotionally satisfied. When your spouse is emotionally satisfied, dali na siyang ma-change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, ayan. Muna siya, love doesn't erase the past. Very true. Love never erases the past. But it makes the future different. Yes. Um, no. So, mo na siya. So, ngayon so, um, dili man siya sa yun na ang mulav labi na si mga enemy, but si Jesus may nag-teach ani. So, with God's strength, power, and dili sa to ang own na strength. So, we we are too weak, no. So, magsalig lang ta sa strength ni Lord nga iyang ihatag sa ito ah, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit harong mabuhat na to ang gusto ni Jesus sa ito ah. no? So, um, love can change all things. So, ang pinakadako, mag, ang tulong man na sila hope, love, and faith pero ang magpabilin, ang pinakadako is love. No? Nga nung love man, kung makapropisay ka sa tanang butang, if you have faith that can move mountain but without love, we are nothing. So, love is pinakadako yun ang gugma. So, learn to love sa ato ang enemy, kung naman tayo enemy. Or maybe ang ato ang mahimong enemy is sa ato ang spouse. So, kahit tungod kayo na yung mga pag, uh, dili, pag sinabtanay. But still, the love of God is kanang magpabilin sa ato. Ah. So, ask the love of ni Lord na mo manifest sa ato ang kinabuhi. Ang um, mga show na to sa ato ang isig katao, no, ang love. And mga iksoon, mag-pray ta, no? Okay, nindot mo mag-pray. <laughs> okay, let's close our eyes and let's pray. Father, thank you for loving us. Even we didn't love you. Please help me to take that as my model. Give me the courage to love my spouse first, regardless of the failures we've experienced in the past. Transform our relationship to our future. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, mga higala, dagang salamat sa inyo. Ang pag, kanunay nga, pagsubaybay. O kita-kita ta. O mga lawa. Bye. Alright. If this video has encouraged you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. God bless. See you.